subscribers who are going see um the reason you're just seeing a tutorial on this song is um <laughs> i really had no intention of doing one because i thought to myself that it was very basic but now i learned that um basic to me doesn't like does not necessarily mean basic for others again lesson learned i am getting some heavy requests on this one so now no exceptions i'm gonna do them all all right so uh um, grab your guitars let me teach you how to play this one very big song very big hit robert nesta marley popular known as bob marley remember to subscribe to the channel let's go Okay, so this one is pretty straightforward, all right? We are going to use in, we're going to be using basic cards. We're going to be using one um, dominant seven, all right? So um, we're going to do this one in the key of B flat, all right? So you're going to use the one, the four, and the five. At times you're going to be using the six, all right? And at times we can throw in the three all right and you'll see how that works when we get there cool so now let's start with the um the one which is the b flat major so you bar the whole sixth fret place the middle finger on the, the third string seven fret pinky finger on the fourth string eight fret ring finger on the fifth string eight fret you should hear that all right now remember when you are striking when you're going when you're strumming you want to concentrate mostly on the thinner strings especially if you're playing in a band all right so you want to you want to get that because the keyboard player and the bass player is already holding that thick you know so you concentrate mostly on the thinner string whoa what was that oh my bad <laughs> wow all right, so um, you want to concentrate on that mostly, the thinner strings. All right, so um, unless they ask you to play thicker, so um, yeah, so that's your B flat major. Now you want to go to the um, you want to form that E flat major. You still bar the sixth fret, place them the ring finger on the second third and fourth string of the eighth fret you want to be strumming from the fifth string 
down. That's your four. Now, to form the five, you want to come up all the way up here. All right? To the ninth fret. My bad, the eighth fret. So five, six, seven, eight. Same position, you push it up a hole. So from the six to the to the eight right there, all right? Same position. Now, so, but the progression you need to pay attention to. So for the chorus, this is the chord progression. One, two, five, four, one, five, one. And I'm sorry for my awful singing. <laughs> here we go. Even though I'm a singer. How is that possible? So, yeah. Here we go again. So, for one to the five to the four. One. Five. One. Again. One to the five to the four to the one. To the five, we're gonna to go to the one dominant. Then four, one, five, one. <laughs> All right. Again, let me do it slow for the chorus. One, five, four, one, five, one. Repeat, that's the one. Five, four, one, five, one dominant. Four, one, five, one. All right, so when you get back to that dominant, you're just gonna hold that B flat major. All you're gonna do is lift that pinky finger. You get that. Back to the four, one, five, one. All right. Now, when it gets to the chorus, some band play different. Some, you know, just a minor change. What you do right there, you're gonna be playing one to the six. Now, I use the six because it sounds sweeter. So you wanna borrow the whole fifth fret and place that middle finger on the first string. 6th fret, all right? So you bar the 5th fret, middle finger on the 1st string, 6th fret, pinky finger, 2nd string, 8th fret, ring finger, ring finger, <laughs> ring finger on the 3rd string, 7th fret. And remember to concentrate on the thinner string. All right? So, you're going to be playing. Da, da. Six, four, one. Now, if it makes you uncomfortable, you can play the six here. This is a G minor. So you can play. Then four, one. All right? You are going to hear that three from the bass. It's going to be like... Different from... So if you want to drop in that three, you know, by the whole fifth fret, place that um, middle finger on the second string, six, second string, sixth fret. <laughs> I'm making so much mistake right now. <laughs> and um, pinky finger on the third string, seventh fret, ring finger on the fourth string, seventh fret. So you're going to get R. Then you jump to the four. One, play it again. Four, one. Now I want you to pay attention, you know. So now, listen. You choose if you want to put that three in it. But if you do not want to put the three in it, you just play the one, six, four, one, one, six, four. One. 
Now, here's a bit of a difference. Some band play different. So if you, some band will play one, six, four, one, one, six, four, five, one. All right? This four, five, one is at the end when you're going to exit the verse. But some people, you know, alternate one of that right here and one of that right there. But you just got to listen to it. All right, so here we go. We're going to go one, da, 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 six, four, one, one, six, four, five, one, one, six, four, one, and one. One, six, four, five, one. Then you go into the chorus. One, love. That's one. Five, four, one. Five, one. That's basically, like I said, you can throw that. One, no, one three, six. You can use this six or you can do one, three, six, four, five, or one, three, six, four, five, one, you know, one, three, six, four, one, one, three, six, four, five, one, then chord, one, love, one, Five, four, one, five, one, one, five, four, one, five, dominant, four, one, five, one. Yeah, man, see, I did it. Bob Marley, One Love, a song for the world, a song that makes you feel like you want to hug the world. All right? So um, if this tutorial was helpful, put it down there in the comment section as usual. Drop your request. If there's anything that I could have done to make it easier, let me know. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button. This one is very important to me and YouTube. This is how they recommend my tutorials to other people. Check out one of these two tutorials and remember to check the cards. Blessed love. See you.